What's up guys, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Today we're going to go over the Corsair Awakening skills and the different mechanics this spec of Corsair has to work with. Now first up, we'll start with the elephant in the room, the ranged grapple ability called Heart Catcher. It is on a 15 second cooldown, can be used from Awakening or main hand weapon, and is a bound on successful grapples. Now the range is absolutely disgusting. I'm not kidding you, this thing will grapple enemies through solid objects. The one downside I can see is that the grapple is relatively slow to cast and has no protection whatsoever so it's risky to use in group scenarios you don't want to be doing that just freely next up we have the basic attack for awakening called basic nothing too special here some mp recovery if you need it but nothing else really uh, the buff for awakening is called family's honor it has a three minute cooldown gives 20 ap for 30 seconds attack speed plus 20 percent and crit rate plus 20 percent for 30 seconds as well as being sa while using the skill it's a standard buff except this buff also gives you mist effect on the following skills so spare no quarter sun shielder wind piercer and Waybreaker will now create mist the mist that they create will give yourself and allies 100 hp recovery per second while you're in that mist the effect will not work if you use the mentioned skills on cooldown so you can't just spam it remember how i said the mist might give buffs or debuffs in the trailer video well it turns out that the mist effect for corsair awakening is not only a self buffing effect but a party buff effect as long as your allies are inside the mist Next up, we have Pirate's Life for me, a 3 second cooldown skill that has super armor, good damage, and an all AP plus 20 buff for 10 seconds while using that skill. Wave Breaker is a mobility skill that also has a stiffness, can be used on cooldown. The CC does not apply on cooldown though, so every 5 seconds when the skill is off cooldown, you'll have that stiffness CC. You can move laterally or in combination with smooth sailing as extra movement. You can even use it standing still if you wish. It's a good skill even even despite its unprotected nature, it's good mobility with a CC. The Elvia skill is already included with the kit. The skill Dark Mist can only be used while having an Elvia Awakening weapon equipped. As usual, it does big damage, so be sure to use it when you have an Elvia weapon equipped grinding Elvia zones. Now, Suppress is the SLMB skill that is on a 5 second cooldown, has stiffness on the first hit and down smash on the last hit. It recovers mana on hit to help with that mana recovery while grinding. It is unprotected though there is a core version of that skill that you can spec into if you wish that will give suppress super armor for added protection it's not a bad core to take if you want that protection though there is a better one i will recommend soon enough now the next skill is called spare no quarter it's the forward rmb skill on its eight second cooldown it has frontal guard while using the skill mana recovery on hit and a core version that gives the skill a bound cc which again is not a bad choice for a core selection and next up, we have Sun Shielder, a 10 second cooldown skill that is your shift Q skill. It is super armor while using the skill and has good damage, as well as a nasty 30% movement speed slow on hits for 10 seconds. The core version gives the skill stiffness in PvP, which is okay, but the next skill we'll talk about is, in my opinion, a more suitable option for the core selection, and that skill is C Mist, your forward F skill. C Mist is on an 8 second cooldown, has super armor armor while using the skill and has a mist effect now once you use the skill you create a mist around you that gives yourself and allies six percent evasion increase and 20 percent movement speed increase for five seconds as long as you and your allies are inside the mist you can also select the core version for an added stun cc on this skill making it a very powerful skill within the corsair awakening kit next up we have crow's mark a 10 second cooldown skill with front frontal guard and a down smash you can combo it with other skills like riding waves and smooth sailing and has a core version that gives you knockback on hits not the best core to choose in my opinion but it's a good skill overall crow's mark is also the 100 bsr skill for awakening dealing some big damage stunning on the first hit vacuuming on the second hit and dealing a knockdown cc on the last hit not bad and has minimal pvp damage loss so with higher ap may actually prove to be very decent now earth render is the general flow skill for the awakening skills you can use 
Q or LMB to activate it and deal some good damage, as well as try for a down smash proc. It is on an 8 second cooldown and offers no protection whatsoever. Open Fire is a 13 second cooldown skill that deals good AoE damage, has frontal guard, and deals a 12% accuracy rate debuff on enemies for 10 seconds. And if you choose the core version, you will also get a bound CC, which isn't bad, but I think Seamist is still the way to go. The range is very good on this skill, and overall, it just has an amazing flair to it with dropping that anchor. Probably one of my favorite skills on the kit. Open Fire is also the 200% BSR skill for the Awakening kit, dealing massive damage and debuffs, but 200% are very unrealistic in the game nowadays and impractical to say the least, so I wouldn't read too much into the skill being a 200%. Unfortunately, hopefully that changes in the future. It also has a follow-up flow that automatically activates called Ceasefire. It will auto-activate after you use Open Fire. It has a frontal guard again and a down smash as well as dealing pretty big damage on top of it. The PvP damage reduction is really high though. It's 60% reduction, meaning it won't deal as much damage in PvP. Next up, we have Charge, your Shift E skill on a 7 second cooldown, so that offers good damage. A Bound CC, 15 DP debuff on enemies, and has again a mist effect. So when the mist gets created, yourself and allies will get evasion 6% buff and movement speed 20% buff. Decent skill, not too bad. Ocean's Allure is the kit's spacebar skill that can be used after a lot of skills in the kit. It deals good damage, has the vacuum effect in PvE, and also created a mist so that this time it deals extra damage to your enemies. The accuracy added on that mist proc is incredibly high at 50%, so uh, pretty deadly on evasion heavy targets on this skill. Next up, we have Wind Piercer, a four second cooldown skill that is your shift RMB skill. You can use it instantly while using other skills. The damage on the skill is pretty good, but what makes it incredible is the frontal guard before the attack and movement speed slows of 30% as well as the knockdown CC on hits. So on a four second cooldown, you have all of that happening. It's an insane skill, one of the best in the kit without a doubt. High Spirit is the down RMB skill on a five second cooldown that deals good damage and serves as an HP recovery skill. It also gives a hefty 24% crit rate buff for 10 seconds and does a floating CC on the first hit. Not a bad skill and easily a self buff skill whenever you need it. Next up we have Light em Up is a nine second cooldown skill that does decent damage and a stun CC on hits. The the main bulk of the damage comes from the skill summoning all your otter crew, the scallywags. We'll go over what this means in a bit as we go over the main passive for Corsair Awakening in a couple of skills, but for now let's look at Labau on deck, a 10 minute cooldown skill with super armor that allows you to summon your first mate, Labau. While Labau is around and chilling with his fish, he will give you damage reduction rate plus 50% for 5 seconds and HP recovery of 500, insane effects. Labau hangs around for a while, so definitely a strong defense defensive skill to use. Next up, we have No Mercy, a 6 second cooldown skill that has super armor and unleashes your crew's secret weapon. You can equip a secret weapon that allows you to deal an accuracy and evasion rate debuff for 10 seconds, have your otter trio deal 80 burn damage as a dot over time or damage over time, and have your cannoneer duo deal a stun CC. So the catch with this skill is that your otters will sometimes screw that up and have technical issues with attacks and the effect won't actually activate. So the weapon you choose will just cycle as you do No Mercy every six seconds. So if you want your summons to have a certain effect, you just cycle the skill until you have that effect activated, if that makes sense. And finally, we have Code of the Scallywags, the Awakening Corsair's passive. This passive tells you which type of otter crew gets summoned when you do certain skills. Now, for example, Acting Captain Bomb will get summoned when you use, for example, Weightbreaker, Wind Piercer or Sun Shielder and they deal some hefty damage with high accuracy modifiers because they are technically summons and summon damage. The really interesting pairing is the Cannoneer Duo. They deal good damage but they also deal extra damage to Nodwar and Siege Forts and Annexes. So this makes it uh, well, basically Corsair Awakening the first class to gain a specific Nodwar damage boost on their skills. It doesn't say by how much the damage is increased from the summon damage but hopefully we'll learn a bit more about it as we get into into and, and testing damage in node wars that's all the corsair awakening skills in a nutshell guys what do you guys think about the kits which skills were your favorite and do you think you'll be playing corsair awakening and try her out let me know in the comments i also have a corsair awakening
Awakening outfit giveaway for you guys over on my Discord that will be running for 24 hours after the release of this video. So if you want a chance to win the premium outfit for Corsair, go to my Discord, sign up to the giveaway channel. Only PC players on NA and EU are able to redeem the codes, unfortunately. So I'm sorry to my global and console friends. I'll see what I can do about getting you guys some goodies in the future. But for now, uh, this giveaway is only for PC players on NA and EU. And that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think about today's video in the comments or over on our community Discord. We're now public and accepting new members, so follow that link, react to the comments to get your member role, and say hello. If you want to support the videos I make in small donations, you can follow the Kofi link below and buy me a cup of coffee. I love coffee as much as I love Bell, so every coffee you buy me will be greatly appreciated and will, of course, give you some Discord perks. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload my next video. Remember, Bell is good. As always, guys, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.